Egypt, guys. City of the Dead. The Dead? Yes, because it is a very old cemetery. Okay. It's 800 years old, the cemetery. 800 year old cemetery. And at the same time, a lot of people live among the tombs. They live in there? They live, yes. They live oh, among the tombs. That's why we call it City of the Dead. My goodness. A lot of people, a lot of poor people live. Because they look like houses, as you can see. So people live among them. This museum was everything I thought it would be. I remember as a little girl reading about the pharaohs, the Egyptians, Cleopatra, King Tut, you know, all of the great ones that represented me as a child. And now I was like, I was finally able to come and see for myself. It was a blessing and I am forever grateful. Okay, this is the inside of the empty coffin. It's a big series of these coffins. Veal. They are serious about these mummies. Mummies everywhere. So we saw the king and queen won. However, we could not take pictures inside of there. which sucked because it was really pretty. But this girl snuck some pictures. I think I'm gonna go back and sneak me some pictures because the man that kept saying no photo, no photo, wanted to take a picture of me. So I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> and while he's probably flirting with the next woman that comes along, I'm gonna sneak some photos.
I hope you enjoyed the journey. Egypt was everything. It was emotional too, because it was something that I dreamed of as a little girl. You know, being raised in the United States of America, it's embedded in us that we are, we come from slaves. We come from a country that has nothing. And we were just kind of like taught, we're like the bottom of the barrel. I don't care what anybody says. That is what a black woman or a black girl, a black boy in America is taught at a very young age. And we're only taught about European history. But I knew as a little girl, like I was greater than that. I knew it. I used to tell my mom, I'm going to Africa. I'm going to Africa. Now I didn't achieve it until I was what, 40? Well, the first time I went to Nigeria in my 30s, but this trip was 43. So I just decided 40 days in Africa and I did it. And I'm so happy that I did it. I'm so grateful. So it was it was more than anything that I can possibly describe to you guys. It was just magical. So I hope you enjoyed Next stop, I have a layover back in um, Casablanca, then Amsterdam, then back to U.S. Peace.